You just say suka blech, that's how you do it. Suka blech. Suka blech. Get, 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 get good. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready, <laughs> so, uh, I will give you a countdown. It might, yeah, it might look weird on stream because I will cut to the menu. That's oh, that's me. fine. Alright, uh, three, two, one, go. So, this is, uh, GTA 2 any percent quite a different run from all missions. There is a lot of stuff going on at the same time. Uh, this is the first time I'm actually gonna be going for actual. Oh, nice, nice wall. Uh, for the actual any percent uh, full game route. Um, so normally I do just something that's that I consider the most interesting route for showcase, but that was done so, so many times. So we're gonna do something boring and repetitive. So you can see all the joys of running actual GTA 2, uh, any percent categories. Oh, I kind of want a machine gun, uh, well, whatever. I guess I just have to be very careful and not get any cops mad. So, um, how you run GTA 2, you basically get a bit of multiplier, then you do uh, the bonus that's called Expeditious Execution. Uh, ay ay ay! Oh! Don't blow it up. Okay, uh, so Expeditious Execution is a good bonus. What it does is it gives you 100k in in the in the dollars from 2000 whatever year um, and uh, if you have multiplier it multiplies so if you have multiplier x2 and you get multiplier for beating missions like i will get 200,000 so it means i have to get expeditious execution five times uh, how you get expeditious execution is pretty simple you kill 20 people almost instantly and game claps to you and hey and says hey you killed way too many people instantly that's great here have money imagine games in current era doing that 10 out of 10. So for that we're gonna be using that spot, uh, I'm gonna be honking the pedestrians off. I'm having a pretty bad car so I might just have to switch it because I really don't like doing it in Ballard. I didn't count but it should be good. I didn't get it. But yeah, because Ballard is very, very, very bad at turns. Two, three, four, five. C count to six, that's what I do here. Oh. Oh, we got it once. Okay, not not too horrible. So, oh, I think I don't did despawn them. Okay. This is the part that where I just kind of have to shut up and concentrate because if I screw up and do way too little, it's like bad. I'm just killing people and getting one level for nothing, and then I just have to go on pain spray. So optimally you do 3 and 2, uh, there is, I think there is a way of doing that with not getting 4 wanted level uh, 4 times in a row, but it doesn't really save anything. Are they not spawning? Oh no they are! One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, they're... So why did I drive to... Bane spray is pretty easy. When as soon as you get to wanted level four, uh, the spawn rate of pedestrians goes down insanely quickly. So, ah, damn it! Well, I'm gonna have to bane spray once more. And you can, you there is a way in certain spots to spawn enough pedestrians with wanted level four or higher. But uh, well, uh, not six though. With six, you only get uh, army base members, but. You know, that's only in industrial. You can't get over 4 in downtown. So progression in this game works pretty easily. You get money, you complete districts. So in downtown... It, oh, that was really bad. Didn't reset the spawn. Um, you get 1 million in downtown, you get 3 million in residential, you get 5 million in industrial, and then you can leave the district. Wow, come on, dude. Where's everyone? One, two, three, four. The thing about this category, if you run it as IL, it's the most annoying thing ever. Because as soon as you get bad RNG, you reset. So this is residential. Here at the start, I'm gonna try to do something for a bit that's called. Oh wow, nice. It's called Expeditious Execution Glitch. If I get it, it's very good, but it's a pretty precise trick. It also is RNG dependent because 
uh, we might just not get pedestrians behave the way we want to. So we want pedestrians here to run. Uh, that one already falls. So what I want to do is like uh, get pedestrians stuck between a car and uh, the platform from which I'm jumping. And if I manage to do that, I'm gonna get uh, be killing that pedestrian indefinitely, uh, which leads to me getting uh, endless expeditious execution bonus, which in the end, after triggering 30 times, gives me enough money to leave the residential. But that might not happen, uh, so I'm gonna like waste a couple minutes here, and if I don't get it, which is honestly how ah uh, started, but the angle was really bad. Uh, if I don't get it, I'm gonna go for uh, no no e glitch strat. Uh, so ILs in this game are spread into uh, like any percent categories are. Uh, any percent just with E glitch and any percent no E glitch. E glitch is exactly what I just described, getting pedestrian killed indefinitely. Um, but that's uh, RNG manipulation. And it's only in residential that there is this nice spot. Oh, come on! I'm like, I'm, I'm getting such nice spawns, but I'm never there. So, um, I'm gonna give it like a couple more tries. I got it during practice today, but it's still RNG. So it's not like nothing I can do. This guy looks nice. And yet again, he's falling down way too quick. Two more tries that I'm going for the other strat. <laughs> like if you run full game right now, you pretty much have to get this in like five, six attempts and then you reset that this guy's just running down. What a joy. And uh, that's probably gonna be the last attempt. I mean, I can keep doing it until the seven minutes on the timer. All right, one more. I just want to do it one more. Oh, let's keep doing it until game crashes. That's a good. That's a good idea. We're gonna be do trying that until game crashes. When the game crashes, I change strats. Cause that sounds. That sounds good. That turn was amazing. Game crash. <laughs> Alrighty, that was quick. Okay, we're switching strats. I mean, nothing, nothing out of ordinary. It's exactly what I expected to happen. Marathon not getting that. I mean, it's hard. It's hard RNG trick. Oh god, I need machine gun. Cop go away. So what I'm gonna be doing now is uh, prison strats. Um, so. I need to collect a bit of multiplier, then do a very hard jump, end up in prison and just farm prisoners there. Um, that's uh, the suboptimal strat, I mean, for full game run. But the hardest part about it is prison jump, it's actually one of the harder things in GTA speedruns at all. I would say it's a pretty hard thing. I'm gonna approach it very slowly, this entire IL. So if we get to prison jump, I'm gonna redo it if I fail it, but I will have like two shots at it. I don't need more machine gun though. Um, come on, oh, come on, okay good. Cops aren't making it easier as well. They might actually screw me up. Okay, this one is a bit tricky. I hold the world record for that cat for like the route that I'm doing right now for six hours. That's how good uh, current world record holder of this game is. He can beat you in like hours, but it takes for, like hours for him to upload the short video to YouTube. Maybe someday we'll have Molodoc stream on Twitch, and everyone will be happy. So I missed the jump. I'm gonna try it. Oh, I should have. Oh, dude, what what did I do? Okay, I'm gonna do it once more. I actually didn't intend to reset the district there. What I want to do is kill myself, but it's I kind of did it on uh, on the muscle memory level. So, whoops, I'm gonna collect the multiplier source again. Um, or I can just do oh, I just do scientists, whatever. So the other strat that was uh, before. Um, before the what I just did um, was the scientist farm. Scientists are like these yellow guys. So how you do it? You uh, you need to get money to save once. I'm gonna go here. 
and do expeditious execution on them. That's a strat showcase run. I don't remember how many times you need to beep at them, like seven. Oh dude, come on. Don't be like that. Ooh, cars on fire. Ooh, woo! You know what? You know what I can do? I can do... Like, I didn't get money now. We're gonna go for Vankars. I won't do Scientists. So, s for Scientists I needed to get money for killing them, but I actually didn't kill enough. So what I'm gonna do now is... Uh, Vankar route. Um, so for Vankar route you execute glitch twice. I mean, not twice. You set up the glitch, which is called... Uh, Vankar glitch. Wow! Okay. Um, and after that, that was like a Mario screen, dude. Like when you die in Super Mario 64. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got the cops. That's good. Now we're gonna have wanted level all the time. That's really good. That kinda is the thing that I was trying to perform yesterday after full game run. But whatever. Um, so I need another car. So what I'm gonna do now is collect the third van car, and after that I'm gonna go save. Uh, what it will make, it will glitch the game in some weird way, I have no idea why that works. Uh, probably GTNP knows how it works, but he's like... He and some other people are caught monkeys of GTA 2. They know like memory addresses and what the stuff does, and they actually made the 1144 version of this game. What I'm running is 9.6. It's more glitchy version, but uh, it has a uh, Vankar glitch. Uh, I don't want to take this suboptimal car. Okay, sick. Oh no! Oh my god! Okay. I could have landed on him and blow up. That would have been not really cool. So, the reason we won't want to level... Oh no, uh, saved status. So that we get cops instantly here. Oh you jerks. Come on, let me in. Okay, we're gonna instantly jump into a car. And just go collect multiplayer switch reset. Everything that is in the area resets upon you restarting it. Actually, scientists hate me now, so that's always great, right? So, multipliers reset, like weapons reset, cars that are unique spawns reset, everything gets reset. So, we're gonna go to the first van car that we already collected, but when we collect it, uh, miracle stuff will happen. So, yeah, I'm doing this sub. Like, this, this strat, if done right, isn't. That much slower than the strat that I'm not doing, which is scientist strat. But I missed the E on scientist twice, even though I practiced it today and I didn't miss it a single time. So I think that's a good sign that I actually have to do this now. Don't blow up the Vankar. And now, tada! Vankar bonus for whatever reason. So everything spawns here, and I don't depend on RNG anymore, so I can just go collect all the other Vankars, so Vankar bonus gives you exactly the same amount of money as uh, uh, Execution gives you 100k, and since I've been collecting multipliers through this entire time, I get extra money, because yay. And multipliers that are collectibles are the thing in residential only, residential is the most like weird district, it has many many features that other districts don't have and my cat really wants to get on, uh, on, on my chair, no. No, you don't. Go, go, go away. No, you... So I, I guess I collected all the cars, right? And now the glitch will be reappearing, but now I still don't have enough money, so I'm gonna go save again. Please, train. And reload and save status. Like, this guy instantly tries to go for a uh, cop car, but... You can just steal it from him. 
Um, so yeah, the third time you, you already don't need multiplier because you have enough. So all you do is just go and do the jump. Whoa, yellow. Okay, good jump. I'm a bit, I'm a bit sad that I didn't make a prison jump. I actually got it three out of three times today. Oh, why am I going here? That's the long route. Uh, Maldog is gonna be mad at me. He's gonna say that I'm, I'm a noob and loser. <laughs> right, slightly, slightly farming money. No, get inside. Oh, you have weakle mines. Alright, gonna restart the game because I died so many times there that it might crash on industrial. So this is industrial, not not such a painful district to do in in any percent that it is in all missions. It's the longest one, but it's still it's okay. It's a good district. So what I want to do is kill that cop. Because I want to want level 2. The reason I want want level 2 is because the first mission I'm going to be doing is the Krishna uh, Green mission. Which requires me to bring 3 cop cars to Car Crusher. I absolutely cannot read chat as well. Like All the questions you can try to send to me do, uh, through English Ben. Because we'll have a small part in this round where I can actually answer them. Otherwise, I'm just talking non-stop. So I'm farming Russians quickly to get uh, as, as big of a disrespect from their side as possible. Uh, might want to kill some more. Don't get shot by a shotgun. And the reason for that is the second mission I'm doing. Okay. Uh, uh, Torx hosted this for 120, 22 viewers. Poggers, thank you, Torx. Dude, nice. Thanks for the host, Torx. Always host me, you always host this piece of a marathon. Legend. Such a bro. Alright, so also since we have a wanted level 2, um, we won't lose cops, which is amazing um, because we really want them to be spawning. And sometimes, when if you have one, you can be going up here, picking up cop cars, crap, and then when you go down, you already don't have a wanted level, so it's like very, very sad. Right, my cat really wants to get up. No, dude, you can't. Alright, now I need. To lure three cars while well, I'm driving one, so I need to lure two cars to a car crusher. Ah, oh, come on, dude. And now I need car crusher to not be an idiot. Okay, Cop car crusher is smart today. Really smart. Car crusher has a cosmic brain today. It doesn't. It do uh, sometimes what it does. It it's this. No, don't. Raised you for nothing, dude. <laughs> Did it count? It might have not count. Does it say the line? Uh, yeah, it count. Okay. Uh, so what it does, it sometimes goes for absolutely random cop car that is also there. Uh, fucking hell! No! <gasps> oh, that would have been such a such a move from SWAT team. Oh god, glad that didn't happen. They could have rammed me over with the police car in front of them. Oh, well. That's that's the strats that police uses in this game. That's always kill you. So now we do the second uh, Looney mission, which is uh, uh, Sunbeam contract, which requires you to have a flashing uh, Russian respe uh, disrespect for for the sole reason of spawning the last pack of killers. In this mission you have to kill like two groups of killers in Russian district. First one spawns like instantly and the second one you have to farm for. The game doesn't really explain it to you. Oh come on. I wanted to... God damn it. I want to run over the group of Krishna there. Because I actually want to kill as much Krishna as I can so that Zaibatsu don't start hating me lately, later on in the run. But okay. So now we just go above and they will spawn. They will be because that's how this game works. And this guy's being like epileptic. Woo! Almost got wrecked there. Oh well. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's. I mean, that's fine. Getting wasted isn't anything bad in the run. It's just that I don't have a car anymore. 
So that sucks. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Give me a car. So what I'm gonna be doing now. Oh, I could have taken a B type. Whatever. So now the goal is the same get money to leave district. The then the quickest way of getting money in that district is completing only two missions and then farming pedestrians until the end of the life. Uh, so right now, uh, each experience execution gives me 300k. So if you do quick maths, you can see that I need uh, 4.9 million to finish the district, which uh, is roughly a lot of E. I can't tell how much. Like 16. 16 E's or something because I will be also be getting bonuses for pedestrians And that's the place where you Fart fart not fart farm it god damn it So the the only thing I like have to say about it is that I'm honking three times Then I'm running over these guys and then at some point uh, Um Zaibatsu might start hating me because they spawn there and I drive over them. That'll be a bit of a, a bit of a bad thing, but hopefully it won't happen. Um, so, so you're not gonna fart on these guys? I'm not gonna fart on these guys now. Oh, that's that's really disappointing. You can actually yeah. fart in this game. Oh, you can. Oh, sick. Okay, I just did it. You can fart and burp in the game, yes. but only when outside of the car. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to stink up the car, you know? Yeah, you're, you're driving it. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's someone else's car. Well, it's, not, it's not very nice to fart. Right? <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> oh, dude. That's not good. So the, the only, like, optimization you can do here is uh, try as hard as you might to not get, uh, to get a triple E. Oh, come on. Oh, go away. Oh, no. Okay. Already spawned pedestrians. Oh, not enough. Oh, come on feel cheated. So if you get a triple E, like three E's in a row, it's good. Uh, but it's only good if you can do it uh, even number of times. Like if you do it one, three, five times, I mean it saves time if you do it more than one. But uh, if you do it two times and three times, it doesn't save more time. Like it saves time only every single even attempt you do it. Otherwise you still have to drive to E spot. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of this run, trying to get Oh god, uh, to get uh, money by killing people and come the fuck game. And then that's the end of the run. And that should take like a few minutes if I'm not bad. I mean, I'm gonna lose one level. Uh, get one level, I mean. So now you can send all the questions through the English band if you have any. Uh, this round is go... Uh, I would say yeah. this is... This is like a 26 minute pace at this point. I it's noticed you, saw, you did something in this game. When is all units turn from speed day 2? Hey, what? Uh, can, can you say... Uh, you're pretty... Like, Discord is pretty low for me, and you're pretty low, I guess. Well. All right. When when is all unique stun jumps for GTA 2? Uh, there is actually no unique stun jump counter in this game, unfortunately. Oh, Crane is being smart again. I guess you can still do all of them. Just for the fun. Like you can't really figure out all of them. You can get them in random places that where you aren't supposed to get a car at all. Oh, this guy is gonna stay there because he's like the car driver. Why is that cop not despawning? All right. I'm gonna kill him. I guess he's. He, he likes his partner so much that he's not living, living him alone there. Uh, hmm? What does expeditious even mean? If I know. <laughs> oh, my game all tapped. Nice. I mean... And then Dirt posted a, uh, the classic Google defi definition, which is just, um... It uses the word in the, in the, uh, the description, so, yeah. I mean... So it's great. I mean, expedition. You know what expedition yeah. is. There has to be a lot of people. Dictionary.com is done with speed and efficiency. That's what it means. It's a mark by or Not oh, bad. I mean... Basically being fast. I mean, yeah. So zero right now, this is an expeditious run. This is this very is fast. Done with speed and efficiency. Super gaming. 
Oh, that's a good one. Is an expeditious runner. This is an expeditious marathon. We shouldn't be speedrunners at all. We should be expeditioners. Yeah, expeditioners. I so, like that. It's a lot better. So this this was a triple E. I think that's the second triple E, but I might be wrong. It might be first. This is a very bad attempt E wise, but I think I'm still on, on some 26 pace. I was going to ask in the uh, previous uh, the previous district you did sort of a backup strategy. How much slower is that compared to the? So the fastest strat would be getting glitch. If you get glitch first try, it takes you less than one minute to finish residential. Then the backup strat for that will be a prison jump that I messed up because prison jump is actually hard. Uh, that would be around uh, three minutes ten seconds. Then sub uh, the next strat will be uh, farming scientists, which I failed because I didn't get money and I got uh, scientists hating me. And that would have take around four minutes. And then it goes uh, main car glitch, which takes around five minutes if you do it really well. So there is no strat that takes two minutes. There is one. I mean, you can farm. Uh, you can farm expeditious execution glitch for two minutes. Then it takes two minutes. That's why I normally farm it for two minutes, because it takes one minute to complete, and you like farm it. And if if you complete it in three minutes, it's not slower than prison jump. Yeah, but you feel satisfied. Reason. Is I there a so law reason as to why you, uh, it costs you five grand to change the plates so uh, you can't? That's why does it cost 50,000 to save? It costs 50,000 to yeah. save? Yeah, and it costs oh, right. 5k just to respray your car. That is a lot. These are expensive times, man. Yeah. 2013. Who remembers? Only 2010 kids will remember. <laughs> so... Oh yeah, I was thinking why do I have, like, it didn't feel to me like I actually did three, uh, like I did triple expeditious execution twice. I got one time uh, single expeditious execution, that's why I only have to do even number of EEs now. But alright, uh, yeah, that's a 27 pace unfortunately. Uh, be ready on time in like 30 seconds. So then that's I... also better than just parking a bunch of cars and blowing them up in a GT one. Stop missing EEs, I mean, I'm talking. Cut me some slack for it. Stop being Molodoc. Smolodoc always bullies me for being bad. What do you do now then? Uh, you c I'm pretty sure you can't because uh, as soon as you get for wanted level, uh, uh, spawn rate of pedestrians goes down drastically. So you can't get 20. Uh, and be ready on time and uh, time. GG. Uh, I'm 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 actually gonna try for like a couple more minutes to get this thing done because if I can it's super cool. It was not a brilliant run, uh, but better than one of my practice runs today, so that's something. But I actually uh, got. Did you... Hmm? did you get it? No. Oh. Uh, like. Uh... She tries, we should know. When it's 40 minutes on the clock, I'm, I'm gonna stop. 40. Oh, come on, that was a nice setup. But yeah, I tried to do as, uh, as uh, modern strats as I could. Like, normally I wouldn't do these strats in downtown that I did. Uh, but, uh, well... I, I did all missions yesterday, which is pretty much uh, the showcase strats for downtown. Uh, the first four missions, and then you do one E instead of just doing five E's after one mission. Oh, come on! We were so close there. I was actually almost there. I guess angle was slightly off. You could see how it starts. That's like, it's pretty noticeable. Zero, so, don't worry about where I'm going. It's just, it's just the, uh, the G-Swing winter mentality. <laughs> but yeah, to complete this game you just need money. As soon as you get money to live one district you can live it, then you can get enough money to live another district. And can I get stop being bullied by the cars? If this is RNG enough. 
Oh, yeah, there is no reliable setup. This is as reliable, like, I, I practiced it today. That's as reliable as it gets. Me practicing it. <laughs> I uh, no. that there is actually a way to do it, but I definitely do not actually tell me the, the way to do it. I don't have a setup for it. Mm, like, you, like, there are so many things that have to go your way. You need to uh, get a very good car in G, so you not getting blocked then you need a pedestrian who run towards the water that will drop at the very specific spots uh, uh, it, it de pedestrian depends on uh, how good your car in G is because you can like you can get a very bad turn uh, and they will fall in the water oh wow the game crashed two times in like one minute that's that's sick okay it's 40 minutes that's last attempt this is this right. is the you last attempt. If Pogo is ready, if, if he can do it. I've got my GT if Pogo is ready. A unique moment. Dude, GTA Poggers, I did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright um, then. That was... I mean... Anyway, that, that, that's one oh, we can, we, can, we, can, we can totally do it like that. GTA 2... Oh, we're gonna eat... Oh, nice. Yes. Uh, I'm doing missing this. You know, it's been Resident a long time since someone M. YouTubed something. It was like uh, Lenny's um, Re... true crime when they did it last time. We, we're gonna we're gonna see it right now. Come on, YouTube, be faster. Uh, where is it? You, you Any percent in forty nine seconds. Boggers. Is it even on screen? Probably. Uh, it should be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> The video starts from the game crashing. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I will, I will, I will mute the audio until the the moment, until the moment that you are all waiting for. Oh, it lags because it's 720p, and because I'm playing on a weird screen resolution. W wait for it. it w it's worth it. Okay. No, I am ready. Okay. I am so ready. Okay, this is how it goes. Okay. Greatest video game ever. Yeah, that's, that's incredible. <laughs> nice. That's like really hard to pull off though. Like, is, is that, has ever, anyone ever done it in a marathon? In a marathon? No, because nobody ever gone for it. I mean, I never tried these strats before. And... It was not very realistic that you'd ever get it. How, how many go, times go, go, do you get go, go, it? Go, 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 go. What, what's the percentage? Be successful at this. Yeah, I mean, if this gets to the ESA, I'm gonna try it there. Maybe we can pull it off there. Bam. How many, how many, how many times do you get it usually? Uh, you can get it. I mean, Modoc says you can get it pretty realistically once every like ten times. I I, I mess up once a... every ten years or something. <laughs> no, it's like <laughs> once every ten thousand attempts. <laughs> He says he can do this glitch in next district once every 70 attempts, and Get that that here. takes over a minute to set up. So yeah, I mean, and it's much harder in industrial. This is one of the easiest because you just have pedestrians naturally falling in the water, but in the other place you have to like grab a taxi, uh, make wanted level, then you like set up yourself over the water in such a way that when pedestrian exits the car, cops run into him above the water, your car and cop car get stuck underwater, then you get in a cop car which is stuck underwater, and you start killing that pedestrian that is stuck from your taxi, and that's how it works, like, in, if you have to set it up. It sounds extremely dumb and hard, and it is extremely yeah. dumb and hard. So yeah, that was uh, GTA 2. Uh, so yeah, if you like the game, come and watch it. And now for the rest of the marathon. Yay! Yeah, great stuff. GTA 3 Hundo next. So we'll uh, we'll go from glitches and glitches to more difficult to execute glitches and glitches. All right, I'm stopping. See ya. Yeah.